Hi there, so uh, I thought I'd do a video log today about um, environment, about uh, my work environment. So uh, I thought I'd do a quick studio tour. Uh, it's not a big studio, but it's where I work. Um, I spoke in the video log the other day about um, being physically um, looking after yourself, being, being uh, physically fit, mentally fit. Um, uh, it's important to get up, walk around. I, I stretch every couple of hours. It helps with my karate as well. Um, but uh, just getting up, walking around, getting outside at least once a day, go out and get some fresh air. Um, I'm fortunate that I have a, a courtyard here that I can go and feed my fish and stuff like that, um, which is tapped directly onto the, the studio. Um, but uh, it, it is important to not just um, like the environment that you work in, which is what I'm going to show today, but also that you keep yourself mentally and physically uh, bright um, so that you can produce more work. So I'm going to turn the camera around now and uh, show you uh, the so studio. So this is uh, the panoramic view of the studio. It's not massive, um, but it's uh, it's a good place to work. It's um, part of my home. This is uh, where I live. I'm fortunate to um, have had a career that's helped pay for a house before I started comics. Uh, that's my courtyard, I go out there, feed the fish, like I was saying. Um, but it also means that it is part of my home, um, so I don't have the extra bills of an extra studio elsewhere, but uh, I do get a lot of through traffic from family, cats, kids, that kind of thing. Um, but uh, but I do get to manage a, a good life bal life work balance, because I get to see my family a lot and be with them a lot. I'm able to deal with uh, life's little emergencies because I'm at home so much, but I also get to do quite a long working day and put a lot of hours into into my work. So hopefully I've, I've kind of felt the balance there of life and work. Um, that's uh, that's my comfy chair. I've got that so me and my wife can sit on it together. Um, but most of the time I sit on it on my own. Uh, pluck a guitar occasionally, play some video games. Um, and quite a lot of the time read and reread comics. Um, from my collection, you can see some of my collection up there. I've got other bookcases dotted around the house with more of my collection in. And I've got some models and some paraphernalia. There's a rather good uh, Doctor Doom up there and a great Batman and uh, bits and pieces. My wife's also keen that I put more of my artwork on the wall. Uh, certainly in the study, I've got some um, covers from uh, my first Doctor Who cover, first full Marvel, Draw the Marvel Way cover and Ben 10 and uh, an ink from Draw the Marvel Way as well. And then some uh, YouTube gear as well, hoping to get some some new stuff and uh, maybe do some um, some live feeds uh, and, um, uh, and and maybe get a mic or something. But um, there's, uh, there's the, the Wacom, that's where I do most of my work. Uh, the study, the studio tends not to get too messy because the only time um, I get the pens and the inks out is when I'm doing commissions and I get a few of those uh, but, but the vast majority of my work these days is done digitally on the whack on there. Um, you can see turn around I've got some more collection over here, this bookcase down there and uh, the TV on the wall which uh, I get occasionally to watch some stuff, some karate paraphernalia up there that I've won. Um, but yeah so there's, there's the study. Um, as I was saying at the start of the video, it's, it's important to be comfortable uh, and love the environment you're working in, but also get out occasionally um, and uh, re-energise yourself, reacquaint yourself with the world, because it's very easy to get stuck into uh, a piece of artwork and, and kind of not be able to leave it, um, especially if you're on a deadline. But uh, give yourself some time and uh, make sure your environment is a good this one. This video log, um, like I was saying earlier, it's about environment, about looking after yourself. Um, so uh, so that you can put as much energy and the best work you can do can be done. So uh, that's, that's, that's the message for this one. Uh, I'm now off to do some um, inking for, uh, for Storm Chasers issue 8. Uh, I've got a, a, some artwork to send off to draw the Marvel way and um, I'm finishing off a commission as well. So um, that's me for the day. Um, and. Uh, Hopefully I'll be organising some live streams soon so you can see some live artwork being done. Um, but that's it for me for the moment. Thanks very much for joining me. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, please sh share, subscribe. 
Um, if you've got any videos of your working environment, I'd love to see them, so drop them in the comments. Um, and uh, thanks for coming and uh, dropping into the dojo once again. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Thanks for watching Comic Book Black Belt. If you've enjoyed the content from this video, please like, share, or subscribe, and come over and follow me on Twitter. It's been great having you in the dojo. See you again soon.